Hari Om Tat Sat. Welcome to Gyan Bhakti. We focus on spirituality, Vedanta and Sanatana Dharma. Please subscribe our channel for the mystical meanings of the scriptures and daily satsang. Our humble prostrations to the all-pervading Brahman, our worshipful Guruji, Swami Jyotirmanandji Maharaj, all sages and scriptures and to the divinity in each of you. We are currently exploring the scripture Mysticism of Mahabharata. Commentaries by Sri Swami Jyotirmanandji and narrated by myself, Swami Nikhilananda. Today we will be picking up Ashrama Vasika Parva. Fifteen years after Yudhishthira began his rulership of the kingdom, Dhritarashtra and Gandhari expressed their resolve to end their days with a life of austerity in the forest. Yudhishthira, who had served and loved his uncle, an aunt, as if they were his own parents, grieved when he heard this. However, he had no choice but to let them follow the course that would bring them the greatest inner peace and redemption from all the sorrow they had experienced. Thus, after performing special ceremonies and acts of charity for those who had been lost earlier in the great battle, the blind king and his wife set out for the forest, accompanied by a large group of concerned followers. It was then that Kunti, Vidura and Sanjay vowed to remain with Dhritarashtra and Gandhari and to serve them faithfully in the forest. Losing the company of their mother, Kunti, it was a grievous development for the Pandavas, but the resolve of the elders to enter into Vanaprast or forest life was unshakable. About a year after the departure of Dhritarashtra, the Pandavas and a large party of men and women from Hastinapur went into a forest to visit the elders. The reunion brought joy to young and old alike and gave the Pandavas an opportunity to see how their relatives were faring under the demands of forest life. Shortly after the party arrived, Yudhishthira inquired into the whereabouts of the saintly Vidura. Then, as if summoned in the distance, there appeared an emaciatic ascetic standing like a statue. Recognizing this figure to be his uncle, Yudhishthira ran eagerly to meet him. After fixing his gaze on Yudhishthira, Vidura immediately entered into Samadhi and with the help of his yogic power brought about the death of his body. As he did so, his spirit merged with Yudhishthira's spirit, showing that both of them were embodiments of Dharmaraja, the god of righteousness. After Vidura's passing, sage Vyasa came to visit Dhritarashtra and said to the aged king, O Dhritarashtra, if you have any full unfulfilled desire, please tell me and I will fulfill it. Dhritarashtra then told the sage that in spite of all the austerity he had done, his mind still thought constantly about his hundred sons, who had perished, and that Gandhari, Kunti, and Pandavas, and all the others were also still afflicted by the destruction of their relatives. His wish, therefore, was that he would have to have one more chance to come in contact with those loved ones who had been killed. Moved by these words and eager to put the long-standing grief of the Kauravas and Pandavas to rest once and for all, Vyasa replied, I'm going to perform a great miracle that has never been performed before. Wait until midnight and then all of you enter into the Yamuna River. At that time, by my power, all those people who died will reappear before you. The day dragged unbearably as everyone eagerly awaited the coming of night. Then, as they entered into the river, sage Vyasa began to chant mantras and miraculously all the departed relatives appeared for an extraordinary reunion with their families and friends. For this purpose, Dhritarashtra had been granted a special vision by Vyasa so that he could see as well as converse with all those personalities. 
This grand miracle created by Vyasa brought unbounded delight to all, especially because it gave a fresh perspective to all their concepts about love of and hate of life and death. There in the magic of the moonlight, it could be seen that no one was an enemy, no one a friend. All those assembled sported together as if they were movie actors enjoying a backstage cast party. The idea that is being presented here in the Mahabharata, as well as in many other great scriptures, is that the world is to be viewed as a drama, a show. Souls led by karmas come into different relationships. But when you lift the screen of karma and look behind all karmic limitation, all souls are innately divine. Hari Om Tatsat. We will continue in tomorrow's satsang, this episode.